To say Duke Eye Surgeon Dr. Lloyd Williams is dedicated to serving people in some of the most dangerous and remote areas of the world is an understatement. One time when we went to South Sudan, two weeks after we were there, um, a group of people came through and killed 140 people in the village that we were in. Williams is the head of Duke's global ophthalmology program, which he began to lead just before the pandemic. After a pause, he now spends eight weeks a year training and working with eye doctors in some of the areas of greatest need in Africa, Asia, and Central America to reduce blindness and human suffering. We've been a part of probably five or 6,000 eye surgeries. In that time, Williams has restored sight and cured blindness for thousands through cataract, trachoma, and cornea transplants. We took her bandages off and she just dropped to her knees and started being like, thank God, blah, blah, blah. You know, and all of us were crying. On his overseas trips, Williams often hand carries donor eye tissue on ice. The only way to get cornea tissue to Africa for a lot of the places we go is to just carry it yourself. That dedication leading to major advancements. Williams trained the surgeons performing the first organ transplant in Sierra Leone. The next day she was 2100 and saw her children for the first time. She'd been blind for 29 years. And her, no, that never gets old. As the son of Lutheran missionaries, Williams grew up devoted to service and understands very well the dangers of the areas he's now serving. Once you get out in the rural areas, there are zero services for the blind. So for children, being blind is essentially a death sentence. And somebody goes blind, you lose two or two and a half people out of the workforce because you lose the blind person and then you lose people who now have to take care of the blind person. Everywhere we go, there's these children that are leading people with a stick. Once we do cataract surgery for her, he gets his life back too. And that is what gives him purpose. My life's mission, I would say, is to cure all the blindness in Africa. Very inspiring. Dr. Williams' next trip is to Sierra Leone in May. He will train two surgeons there in complex lens procedures. He also plans to operate on a third surgeon in need of a transplant, hoping that that surgeon can soon operate on locals as well.